Dr. Machino, as you know, it has been a horrible flu season, and I don't want to catch the flu. What can I do or take to protect myself from it? You know, it's vitally important to keep your immune system strong. It's really how you prevent colds and flus and serious infections like pneumonia and even cancer. So what I'm going to share with you is my 10-step nutrition lifestyle prescription for a healthy immune system. So what does your immune system do? Well, your immune cells actually hunt down viruses and bacteria and other pathogens and kills them on the spot. But those same immune cells also hunt down emerging cancer cells and kill them off as well. So these immune cells, like your natural killer cells, your macrophages, your dendritic cells, your lymphocytes, your neutrophils, they all work together in a coordinated effort to protect you. So a strong immune system is vital throughout your entire life. Now the truth is, how you live your life strongly determines how strong your immune system is going to be. Now certain factors can weaken your immune system, so I want to point these out. The aging process alone can we weakens the immune system, and that's because your thymus gland shrinks as you get older, and so the immune cells become less efficient. They don't go to boot camp and learn how to use their equipment as well. But certain supplements can help you overcome that weakness and bring you back to a more youthful level. I'll explain that. Too much alcohol weakens your immune system. If you're under a lot of stress and you're not coping well, you secrete a lot of cortisol. Cortisol weakens your immune system. If you're training in the gym and you're working out but you're overtraining, your cortisol levels go too high, also weakens your immune system, you're more susceptible. Certain drugs, corticosteroid drugs like pregnisone, anti-rejection drugs, and drugs used for autoimmune disease also weaken the immune system. Marginal deficiencies of certain vitamins and minerals also weaken the immune system, and so does having dysbiosis, too many unfriendly bacteria in the large intestine, not enough friendly bacteria, because the gut bacteria modulate immune system function throughout the entire body. Now here's the good news, that with the right diet and supplementation program, you can keep your immune system strong throughout your entire life. So here's my simple 10-step nutrition lifestyle prescription for a healthy immune system. The first six things are diet and lifestyle related. Number one, minimize your intake of alcohol. Keep your refined sugar intake low because refined sugars have been shown to weaken immune system function. Eat garlic and onions on a regular basis, but I would not suggest that you take garlic supplements because they can, they've, been caused, they've caused some internal bleeding problems in certain reported cases. But use that into food as a condiment. Have five to seven fruit and vegetable servings a day. Moderate exercise, 30 to 45 minutes of regular endurance exercise four or five times a week. That keeps the immune system strong without overtaxing it. And you have to get enough sleep. That's number six. There's no substitute. When you sleep at night, your immune system get, becomes stronger. That's how you renew your immune system. And there's no substitute. No supplements or energy drinks can help you overcome lack of sleep in terms of immune system function. But there are four supplements that I want you to know about. Number one, a high potency multiple vitamin. It has 1,000 IUs of vitamin D, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, 400 IUs of vitamin E succinate, that's the most important anti-cancer form of vitamin E, 15,000 IUs of beta carotene, 2,500 IUs of vitamin A, 15 milligrams of zinc, 200 micrograms of selenium. That type of combination has been shown even in elderly patients to bring their immune system back to more youthful function. I had a patient about 10 years ago who had chronic fatigue, Epstein-Barr, chronic mono, those types of symptoms, couldn't go to work anymore. I simply put her on that supplementation program that I just spoke about of those vitamins and minerals and within a month she sent me a thank you card. She had re her immune system came back, she was strong, she overcame the problem that was debilitating and she was greatly appreciative because those nutrients really affect immune function. Now in recent years we've learned that extra vitamin D may be really valuable. So you may want to take extra 1,000 to 4,000 IUs of vitamin D in order to get your blood level above 80 nanomoles uh, per liter. That's where you have good immune system function and great vitamin D status. Now keep in mind that African Americans in a recent study showed they have to get up to 4,000 IUs a day from supplementation in many cases to get to 80 nanomoles per liter. Why is that? Because with the melanin in the skin being increased blocks sunlight uh, penetration so they make less vitamin D and so they often need to take more from supplementation. Supplement number three, the combination of reishi mushroom extract and astragalus. These two herbs are brilliant at bringing immune system uh, function back. If you're over the age of 50 and your thymus gland has shrunk down, 
those are important supplements to take sort of uh, together. If your immune system is compromised, they're really important. I've had patients who have come to see me, they get colds every winter, they're working around kids, they're always getting colds and flus. Put them on the high potency multi with the reishi mushroom and the astragalus combination and five years later they haven't had a cold in that period of time. And the reishi mushroom extract also has been shown to reduce canker sores. And if my own students, when I teach them this subject, often they take that combination, they reduce their colds and flus, and often canker sores are reported to be reduced up to 90%. The last supplement, you may need a probiotic or prebiotics with sort of inulin and FOS to increase the friendly bacteria in the gut, especially if you've used antibiotics regularly or birth control pills, or you're on a high meat, low fiber diet. This changes how the bowel functions. So that's the 10-step program that really helps to reduce the frequency, the severity, and the duration of colds and flus and other infections, and helps to reduce your risk of cancer. One last thing, make sure you wash your hands often, and try not to touch your face, especially your mouth, your nose, and your eyes. So I hope this was helpful. I'm Dr. James Machino. Thanks so much for watching.